last episode, the gang bought a limousine. This is the sickest thing I have ever seen. In this episode, they get back to their roots. Masterminding ideas, jankily putting them into action, and spreading smiles along the way. But in preparation for this big event, they kick things off the relaxing way. We're here at Waimea. We have seem to have made it into the teen corner. And we're gonna go jump off this rock and play in the water. Gabe's 17, he's my age. He's 17, but these are two very different 17s. Yeah. He's, kind of, he's a little bit more of an advanced Grom. He's this morning, way more advanced This morning than I made breakfast and I was like, Gabe, you don't need to do any dishes. And he did all of my dishes. I felt kind of bad. That's a good guy right here. Yeah, but he made breakfast, so I had to like carry my own weight, you know? See, that's just the thought process yeah. that he doesn't have. a drift line we got a package to keep us all suited whoa drift lines today i am wearing the no wetsuit liner drift lines because it's a little extra hot today don't need the wetsuit but if you guys want a pair of these shorts the cheapest you can ever get them use code sickos holiday for 25 percent off from the 24th to the 29th you can use this code link in the description below and uh I get chafed pretty bad here because we've been surfing a lot, so I'm wearing the wetsuit lined ones, and uh, these help with the chafe in this area, but not my nipples. I gotta put band-aids on my nipples. Don't put band-aids on your crotch, wear drift lines. <laughs> so, on another note, today we are doing something I have been absolutely psyching, losing my mind to do for so long, and we finally have the wind to do it, but basically we're gonna have someone kite foil, so fly a kite and ride one of these, and then there's gonna be a rope connected to their back, which are their harness, and they're gonna to be towing another foiler. So we're doing kite foil foil toes, basically, and we're gonna go pull each other into some waves. Okay, so this is how this works. I'm putting on my kite harness. Wait, no, we'll grab the harness. Look at it, it even has a little bit of suspension. Oh, that little suspension is nice. We're on. And then I'm like, yeah! Caden is so optimistic about this working. I just don't think it's gonna work. Yeah. Wanna see a funny prank? Hey Will! What's up, man? Kick this mound of sand. Thank you, Reedan, for supplying us. Wait, you're doing your nasally freaking talk to camera voice. I'm get, actually I'm actually get amped! God. Thank you, Reedan, for supplying us with the sweetest kites, sweetest foils, and sweetest bars in the world. Ready, Caden? Noink. That was not as cool. I was thinking it was gonna slide out of my hand. I'm like, yeah. I'm gonna go in there. 
sickest thing ever. That was so sick. I was so wrong about Caden. But you won the battle. I know, I was right, huh? I was like, boys, we gotta do this. Boys, we gotta do this. No one ever wanted to go. Finally, the boys the came today. Is Charlie was, he was always be like, just like, sounds like I should go, but no. <laughs> and he'd just say that over and over again, and now he's gonna see the clips and be shitting himself. Charlie's on a date, so he's good. <laughs> Is on a date. Uh, Charlie's on a date. Charlie's hiking in Kailua on a date with his new girl, and we're about to go meet her. What's up? Can you see me? Uh, yeah. Dude, you seeing all this? This isn't even half the load inside the limo right now. Not only did we load it full of the boys, but it's also acting as our surfboard, kiteboard, kite bag trampoline carrier. It's like a freaking private jet right now. We're unloading everything, doing a fireman's ladder all the way to this boat that's about to take us out to a beautiful sandbar. And we're building a trampoline on a sandbar today. First is the biggest Grom ever. We're getting so much shit for it. But he's a really nice guy. I don't that know. That means a lot. Kind of. He's kind of a skeevy bastard, actually. No, I'm just gonna come after you. I swear! Mia is so. She can't do it on camera. <laughs> this is for me and my close friends just, only. Where are we? We're at we? the beautiful Conahe Bay sandbar. Our trampoline is underwater but we have a few more activities to play with Kaden just got the kite up we have a little winch ready to go and once i get my wave storm i'll be out there our tramp's almost back in commission we're almost there promise just three more cinder blocks and we're ready if i could write you a song to make you fall in love i would already have you up under my arm i used to ball of my tricks i hope that you like this but you probably won't you think you're cooler than me you got designer shades just to hide your face and you wear them around like you're cooler than me and you never say hey or remember my name and it's probably cause you think you're you got your high brow shoes on your feet and you wear them around like it ain't shit but you don't know the way that you look when the steps make that much noise Shh, I got you All figured out You need everyone's eyes Just to feel seen Behind your makeup Nobody knows who You even are Who do you think that you are If I could write you a song To make you fall in love I would already have you up Under my arm I used to follow my tricks I hope that you like this But you 